Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for August 14th through the 20th, 2023. Did you get the newsletter last week? Did you get the new meditation for helping to manifest your dream life? A little meet your future self. Uh, being able to meet your future self, see your future self as part of the manifestation process. And, you know, maybe they have a little message for you as well to help you through whatever it is you're going through at the moment. Uh, also, Yoga Nidra is this week, Thursday night, the 17th. Uh, you can join me in person or on Zoom. Um, let's get to the good stuff. I was drawn to the Animal Tarot deck by the lovely Radley Valentine. And of course, we are going to draw three cards as we always do for this week's Oracle card reading. That is one. These cards are really jumpy today. I was shuffling to get ready and they are jumping all over the place. They definitely have lots to say. But they always do, I love this deck. Uh, one more card, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Let's take this one right here. Okay, let's put that big deck down and see what the cards have to say today. Card number one is Ace of Winter. Implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. Um, I actually had a conversation with a friend yesterday kind of about this and how as we are trying to achieve things, as we are trying to move through um, new adventures, sometimes old stuff comes up to get in our way to just sometimes it's like, hey, you haven't completely healed this. You need to do a little more work here. Sometimes it's, hey, we've had this challenge before. Did you already conquer it? <laughs> and can we move forward? there will always be redirections. What we have in our mind as the path that needs to be taken isn't always the path the universe has planned out for us. And that can be difficult. It can give us feelings of setback and failure, but the reality is, is the universe is always pushing us or turning us in the right direction. So think of things not working out as a redirect or an opportunity to learn something which will allow you to then elevate to the next level again. And that's not just in business, that is not in career, that is in life in general, life in general. Card number two, we have a major arcana card. We have the chariot, Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies all uh, at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you are receiving. We have a butterfly of transformation and change, and those horses are in the chariot instead of pulling it. This goes hand in hand. It is that determination. It is that desire to achieve that will allow us to continually overcome the things that come up, conquer them and move on to the next things, learn the lesson and move on to the next thing. Everything we do in life is an opportunity to understand what we do and don't want, what does and doesn't work. Learning what doesn't work or learning what you don't want is just as powerful. I see this a lot with relationships, people dating and they're like, ooh, well, that was bad. I don't wanna do that again. It's like, no, that was a learning lesson. That was an opportunity for you to go. I don't wanna date someone that is A, B, or C, right? Then you know the next time you go out on a date that you're gonna be more cautious of the person you're choosing and you're gonna pick somebody that is a better match for you because you know what you don't want. Got it? Okay. Card number three, King of Spring, the Katanga Lion. Now's your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. And that lion is big. They go together beautifully this week. This piece of determination of soaring above about taking control, like, I, 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 like I said, I had this beautiful conversation with a girlfriend yesterday. And even in that, like I said, you know, now is the time I'm done shrinking to fit into places that I really don't want to be in anyways. 
It's time to show up full size and do the work that I've been put here to do. To live the life that I want to live. And to do that, you could almost call it taking a leadership role, but it's the leadership of our own life. Why are we letting everybody else control where we go, how we act, what job we take, what relationships we're in? We are con in control of our own life. And I know that sometimes it doesn't feel that way, but we do have control. We have choices. And in those choices, we determine our path. So you can work your butt off, and that doesn't necessarily mean working hard, um, but you can work your butt off to get yourself to where you want to be. Learn the lessons, do the healing, do the hard work that is required of you. And when I say hard, it doesn't mean that it's not attainable. It's just sometimes the work is uncomfortable. And when we move past that discomfort, we find another level of comfort again. When we move past the unknown, we have another level of known. All of these things come together. The universe is telling you, please don't give up when you've only just begun. There is so much more and it is gets so much better. I love that saying, uh, believe, always believe something beautiful is about to happen. Hold on to that one this week. Maybe turn it into your screensaver because incredible things are on the horizon if you just keep going. I'm going to embody it myself. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of my spiritual journey. I, all, as always, I ask for a little energy exchange. If you can like, comment, share, subscribe, all those good things, I greatly appreciate it. It helps uh, this message to be seen by the people that really need to see it. Um, thank you for allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. From my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing rest of your week.